西坡，皮坡，皮坡，皮坡。Keep pause, suck pause, see what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med. Scarlet News with a buzz. Jamaica is in serious trouble. No matter the promises that your politician JCF make, that we are going to see better. Because they are putting in all sorts of plans, implementing all sorts of plans, and their MPs are going to do better with the raise of pay, the pay hike, as them call it. There is a very disturbing trend that has been going on for a little while, and it is people being abducted by force from their house. Even in a taxi, people pick up people, take them away, take them to the ATM machine, withdraw the cash. Sometimes, if they are lucky, they let them go. Most of the times, them end up missing our D E A T. People, this disturbing trend continued last night again in our place called Gregory Park, that is in Portmore, Portmore Saint Catherine. It is said that a man and his wife and a child were abducted from a house in Gregory Park. They were taken to the corporate area, meaning Kingston and Saint Andrew. They used their debit card, bank card, whatever you want to call it, and they withdrew about a hundred thousand Jamaican dollars. It is said that they then took these people, or one person, back to a place called Elshire, put some corn in the man, take him away. However, it seems as if those persons' vehicle had on some sorts of tracking device. The people from the special ops in a Portmore intercepted the vehicle. When they intercepted the vehicle, there was some sort of chase ensued. One of the men was conned up. He lost his life. I am going to let the SSP explain everything in intricate details, and then I am going to give my piece. Yes, could you just identify yourself for the record, please? Deputy Superintendent Earl Grant. Yes, Mr. Operations, Saint Catherine South Division. Yes, Mr. Grant, where are we this afternoon? We are in the Elshire. Uh, community along the Elshai Main Road, uh, close to the roundabout that leads to communities um, and the, the beach in the Elshai area. Yes, what drive us here, you know, I understand that an incident started unfold from last night leading into today. There was an abduction of persons, two male and a female. They were taken from their homes in Gregor Park. They were then transported over to the corporate here where ATM cards were used to draw monies from their accounts. Number and um, name about a hundred thousand. However, they took the persons back to the Portmore area and we were standing in the Elsha Road area where the male was taken from the motor vehicle and shot. His body was then dumped um, along the roadway here in the mangroves and uh, the female was not hurt the police were tracking the motor vehicles and a team from the Portmore uh, special ops team they made contact with the men along the Elsha main road where a gunfire ensued between the gunmen and the police the car drove off towards the Fort Clarence Beach area where it crashed one man, one man jumped from the vehicle, ran across the mangrove, fired shots at the police who returned the fire. One man was found suffering from what appears to be shot wounds. He was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital uh, with a view of saving his life because we needed more information from him as to the gangs that was operating, uh, that was committing the crimes, with these type of crimes within the Portmore area as also uh, the Kingston uh, metropolitan area. Were there any firearms found? Uh, Not yet. Uh, the police teams are in the mangrove as we speak. We have drone operating within the space. We have gotten assistance from the SWAT team, specialized operations, and our local special ops teams inside the space. Uh, SSP Chris Phillips uh, and a strong detachment of police officers from the Portmore Police uh, Division or the St. Catherine South uh, Police Division. We are inside the area and we are continuing the search uh, to whatever times, time it takes us. 
we are going to continue to search until we find this man because we think that they are responsible for the murder of the man that we found in the mangroves now people first thing first big up to the paw paw for their actual quick response from the quick response team this has been a trend that has been going on for a little while we've heard of many cases in which people get abducted carry away in a some sort of taxi men posing as taxi men hold them at ransom hold them under the rest take with them money out of them card and then kick them out of the vehicle or even k-i-l-l -L them so therefore we say say this is nothing nice happening in jamaica and this is because these youths are getting more and more desperate and the more that we see that them clamp down upon these people robbing the beryllium them have to find new innovative sick ways to rob people and people this is one of the more disturbing trends like i said before can you imagine you as a family, mother, father, child, somebody come at your house, rush in at your house, take you away, take your bank card, carry you go to Kingston or St. Andrew from Portmore. Use your card, get the money, and then when they get the money, they drive you, instead of letting you out, they drive you back to Hellshire, well not back to Hellshire, to some sorts of bushy bushy era in a some sort of dark place and take away the father can you imagine how the wife feel can you imagine how that child feels not only are they robbing you abducting you they are also taking you away the good thing is that we know say, one of the suspects them get taken away the sad thing is that one of these family members also lost their life the good thing is that the poor poor responded quickly. There was some sorts of chase followed by some sorts of S-H-O-O-T out in which one of the men loses his life. They were hoping that they could rush him. Turkey rush people. Me not really know. Obviously, we said that this is a very disturbing trend. So maybe they want some sorts of information and they probably thought that this man could help them with some sorts of investigation. However, people, that was not to be he obviously lost his life in the mix-up. Now, people, it seems as if it is damned if we do, damned if we don't. If the politician them now robbery, B-L-I-N-D, it is the G-U-N-M-E-N -E that are trying to take our lives. We are not safe on the street, and it seems as if we are not even safe in our homes. Even though we put on all sorts of security devices, all sorts of grill, the people may wait till you come out and they may shock and awe you. Not only are they going to A, B, D, U, C, T, U, they may go rob you and then even worse, they are going to K, I, L, L, U. People, it is a very sad state of affair in a Jamaica. Point blank and period. Further on in the news... The dysfunctionality, the immorality, the lack of ethics and the scatelinaism that exists in Jamaica, it seems to be getting worse and worse. And this is based on a couple of videos that I got, maybe about three or so. Based on the information that I got, it is said that this taxi man, a slim man, call him Flaco. He was in some sort of relationship with a mother and a daughter and it seems as if words start to get around it seems as if he must have this one or both of them and people them plan for him very very good when the video starts you could see some sorts of verbal altercation between two people the taxi man tall and slender decides he might go buck one of them in a them head people that was the biggest mistake he made one of them hold on upon him. She commenced to clot clot him up. She also had one of them two by four and she was putting it on him. One grab on upon him, the next one come in and also start the melee with it also. Both of them pretty much brought him down. People, have you ever seen any of those disturbing videos on social media wearing at least two or three P-I-T-B-U-L-L-S 
Hold on to what power and little poodle and people. You know what is going to happen. It was not a fear. F-I-G-H-T. Now when I saw this video I said to myself. Maybe some sorts of Dan was there and watching and he could not retaliate. However from all angles that I saw. You could hear each time that he was pelted with some sorts of 2 by 4 Some sorts of big stick. You could hear it echoing as if you was on some sorts of mountain top or in a some sorts of cave. When he fell to the ground, they did not ease up. Nobody, everybody was looking, all sorts of onlooker. However, nobody would interrupt, nobody would intervene because they themselves are saying to themselves, I do not want to be the next patient that gets the same treatment. People, I don't know what is wrong with these people in a Jamaica with their relationship. It seems as if there's always some sort of turmoil. There's always some sort of discrepancy. There's always some sort of verbal that ends to physical. Whether a man versus man. Whether a man versus woman. Vice versa. Girlfriend, boyfriend, matey, ex, whatever the case is. And not just based on this video. Based on the very disturbing trend, it is obvious that people in a Jamaica have a whole bunch of anger management problem and a very little amount of reasoning ability. Everything always has to end up in a some sort of clotting, somebody getting hurt or somebody getting K-I-L-L-E-D. And the sad thing about the situation is that this is what the people like to see. This is what people endorse and I know that persons watching are saying Blaga you chat too much. How can we see this video? It is very simple. Phone number, WhatsApp number 1876-894-2711. Say you want to see the video of the BEAT down by the mother and daughter. And you also give your name and say you want to join the group. It is simple as that. Do not video call me. Do not call me. A text is good. Point blank and period. So anyways people. Thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these. Please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.